Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make tons of MT and what are the best MT making methods in NBA 2K22 My Team right now. We will start off with a really, really good MT making methods and work our way up to the best MT make making method at the end of the video. If you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four My Team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best My Team content on the platform. So for their ado, let's get on. To the video the first MT making method is gonna be something I call just clearing out the collection what you guys want to do is go look through your collection look for these my team base set cards look for these NBA 22 NBA series 1 cards and what you guys want to go want to do is just go sell them right you can make so much MT from selling these cards and most people don't realize how much MT is in their collection just sitting here wait, waiting to be sold basically. So go look for Colin Sexton for example, he looks to be around a thousand MT. What I'm gonna do is send him to my auction house, scroll down to my auctions, scroll over and I'm gonna find that gold Colin Sexton and put him up for 900 MT. We just made 900, we just made 900 MT in less than 10 seconds and what i'm going to do is go through and do it and do that with all of these cards we look at john mclaughlin here he looks to be around 3000 mt go send him to my auction house scroll all the way down scroll over to find that gold john mclaughlin and i'm going to put him up for 3000 mt now we just made 3000 mt in another 10 seconds so far we've made almost 5000 mt in less than 30 seconds it literally is this easy to make mt if you guys have these cards in your collection so what i want you guys to go do is after you watch this video make sure go to your collection look for all these my team base set cards because i do have so much value that a lot of people don't even realize so what i'm going to do after this video as well is just go through my collection and sell all of these cards so one of the best MT making methods, just go through your collection, sell all of these players, all these heat check cards, because I know right now heat checks do have a lot of value as well. As you guys can see, Chris Middleton, he's around 3000 MT. Dynamic ratings, go through and sell all of these cards if you do have them, right? The gold sell for around 800 MT, 1000 MT per gold card. Also, what you guys want to do is sell all these promo cards you guys are not using. For example, I'm not using this Ruby Wang ZZ. He's not playing for me in any of my lineups, so what I can do just look for his price 1.4 thousand i'm gonna go list him for a thousand mt that's basically all you guys have to do in the first MT making methods obviously there's gonna be a ton more in the video but the first one is super simple just go through sell all these cards in your collection that you guys are not using and you'll be surprised with how much mt you guys can actually make go through quick sell all these jerseys because no one really needs these extra jerseys there's an extra 750 MT that I didn't have before. We just got that in less than five seconds. Go through and sell all these diamond shoes. You guys would be surprised with how many diamond shoes you just have sitting in your collection that you never really knew you had. For example, there's another diamond shoe I didn't know I had. And this one looks like it goes for about 9,000 MT. So what I'm gonna do, go to my auction house, scroll over, find the diamond shoe. And you guys can just see how much MT I'm making in literally this video. I'm showing you guys right now how much MT I'm, I'm able to make in literally less than like less than three, four minutes. I'm making over 25,000 MT in literally less than five minutes, which is literally insane to me. If you guys can see all the stuff that we're selling is going to make us a ton of MT. And I have some stuff in my auction outcome. You guys can see Ben Simmons, Chris Middleton, you know, this guy sold, he was another gold card. So a bunch of MT you guys can make from just selling your collection. The second MT making method we are going to be talking about is going to be investing in certain players. And by certain players, I mean these dynamic rating cards. I do have a video going fully in depth of how to make MT and what are the best players to invest in. But basically what the method is, is you guys want to find these top tier cards that could have crazy games in the NBA in real life. If you guys do not know, these cards get boosted depending on how they play in real life. So DeMar DeRozan, he drops 60 points the next time the Bulls play, he's going to most likely get a Dark Matter. If you guys do not believe me, the same thing happened with Kyrie Irving. He was a Pink Diamond card, he had 60 points, Now he, and now as you guys can see, he is a Dark Matter card. So what you guys can do is buy these Diamonds, buy these Pink Diamonds for only around 5,000 MT for a Pink Diamond or a Diamond. A perfect example is James Harden. He's not playing good at all. He's only an Amethyst. He's down to probably 2,000 MT. Like you could pick up an Amethyst James Harden for 2,000 MT. And we all know how good James Harden can be in the NBA. We all know he can easily pop off for 50, 55 points easily in any single night that he plays. So I think James Harden is a really good investment. Buy a bunch of these for 2,000 MT. 
he goes up to a galaxy opal or dark matter now he's 15 10 000 mt you're gonna literally see a 5 to 10 times x if you buy james harden for around 10 or you buy james harden for around 2000 mt so like i said i'll leave that link in my description down below of me going fully in depth explaining how to make mt investing in these cards but you guys kind of get the point of it you want to invest in these really good players that are playing good in the nba right now so john Morant, he might be a decent investment because he could always go crazy but you want to kind of find the guys that are more pink diamond and diamond range you don't really want to invest in the galaxy opals because the galaxy opals are already super expensive so another great guy is clay thompson we all know clay thompson he can go absolutely crazy in an nba game drop 45 points drop 30 points in a quarter for example so find a clay thompson for 1200 mt and i'm actually gonna invest in one because i think clay thompson could absolutely go crazy especially now that steph curry is injured he's gonna be shooting a lot more shots i think we might see a clay thompson 45 piece or maybe even a 50 piece coming in the next couple weeks so that clay thompson definitely gonna go up a lot in value so that's my second mt making method invest in these dynamic rating cards in my opinion the third best way to make mt in my team right now is gonna be sniping I personally am not the biggest fan of sniping. I would rather play the game, but there is some really good snipe filters that you guys can make a lot of MT. The first one that you can make probably the most MT in the game with is gonna be Dark Matter. Set your theme to Power Thin, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and basically you wanna set your filter, not that filter, you wanna set this filter to 500, and all you guys gotta do, keep refreshing. Anything you see is gonna be a massive snipe. We can see Dark Matter Kareem, Dark Matter LeBron, Dark Matter Kawhi, Luka Doncic. You can see all of those guys on this filter for under 100,000 MT, which is obviously gonna be a massive snipe. As you guys can see, there's Luka, there's Kawhi, there's Shaq, there's Kareem, there's LeBron tons of these good power thin cards you guys can snipe for 500 mt and then obviously there's another good filter it's basically just a 500 mt filter what you guys do is just set your maximum buy now or buyout to 500 mt all you guys got to do keep refreshing anything you see here will definitely be a snipe and then the last filter what you guys can do is to set your filter to like diamond scroll all the way up to like 1.7 or 1.8 you guys can see the lowest tier diamond is going for 1.8k so what you guys can do is scroll all the way down to like about 1.25 and now any single diamond you guys see on this filter anything that pops up will definitely be a snipe and you guys can make a little bit profit every time a new card comes up. Like I said, not the biggest fan of sniping. I would much rather just play the game, which is gonna lead me into my next point. It's probably the most underrated MT making method in this, vid in this video game or in this game is gonna be just playing the game. Honestly, there's certain game modes that can make you more MT, but just play the game as much as possible. You're gonna earn so many rewards, like tokens, like MT, earning XP, which then can earn you MT. Same thing with the tokens, right? Playing unlimited, I think is the best game mode to play. To make mt you get a bunch of diamond contracts diamond shoe boost a bunch of badges you can sell a bunch of diamond and pink diamond players so many good rewards from unlimited domination is probably the next best game mode to play for making mt play this nba 75 homecoming or dynamic rings domination and you guys can make tons and tons of mt i don't think a lot of people realize how much mt there is just by playing the game you can make literally so much mt you can make just by playing the game playing triple that offline playing domination clutch time draft triple that online unlimited makes so much mt more than you guys probably think the best game mode though to play for mt making purposes is going to be unlimited and dom and domination for sure so if you guys really want to make mt start grinding out unlimited and if you guys like playing offline definitely start to playing definitely start grinding out this dynamic rings domination definitely is the best one to make mt now guys we're gonna be talking about the last two mt making methods which are gonna be the two best mt making methods in my personal opinion the second best one being spending your tokens on the silver and bronze badge packs to basically flip them into tons and tons of mt so i have a full video breaking down you know how much mt you guys can make so i'll leave that link in my description down below you guys can go watch that video but basically what you guys want to do is open these silver and bronze badge packs with your tokens and then basically just convert them into mt like i said one of the best ways to make mt in the game you want to look for badges like hands for days is a really good badge that is silver you want to look for the clamps the limitless spot ups the quick first steps the rim protector the chase down arses those always those all go for a lot of mt as you guys can see silver interceptor it's a really good badge as well so if you guys are looking to badge up some of your players that's a good way to get badges so you guys don't have to go uh, open packs on the auction house but like i said we pulled that post lockdown and the hails for days i think hails for days has a decent amount of value on the auction house nothing crazy not going to be you know game breaking mt but i can go ahead and sell this handles for days 
for, pro for probably around 500 MT, 600 MT. And that's free MT I didn't have before, right? So what I'm gonna do is scroll over, go find my silver badge. It is gonna be handles for days, put it up for 600 MT, and there we go. You guys don't understand how much MT you can make just by opening those silver and bronze badge packs. I know 600, 600 MT does not seem like a lot, but once you open a lot of these packs, the MT will start piling and piling and piling up. So this is probably the second best MT making method in NBA 2K22, my team. And as you guys can see, if you do all these MT making methods in one video, if you guys do all of these at the same time, you can make literally millions of MT really, really fast in my team. Now, finally, talking about the best MT making tip in NBA 2K22, my team, or best MT making method. Before I do explain it, scroll down, drop a like on the video, make sure to subscribe if you guys are do if you guys are new. If you guys have made this far in the video, I really do appreciate all of you guys watching the video. Make sure to go drop a like down below. It helps a lot more than you guys could even imagine. But now talking about the best MT making method in NBA 2K22, my team is gonna be adding Hall of Fame badges to the top cards in my team. What I mean by that is basically when a new card comes on a Friday, like a Dark Matter Cream, like a Dark Matter LeBron, a Dark Matter Giannis that we might be getting, a Dark Matter KD, that could be coming in the future. And what you guys wanna do is on Friday when they drop, you guys wanna take all your Hall of Fame badges that you have saved up, they will talk about in a second, and you guys wanna apply them to these cards. I saw a 40 Hall of Fame badge cream sell two days ago for 2.3 million MT. You guys can see this one right here. This person has 41 Hall of Fame badges on their Dark Matter Kareem. Now to earn these Hall of Fame badges, I'll leave another link in my description down below. I have a video explaining all the different ways to get all these Hall of Fame badges for free. So definitely would recommend go watch that video. I explained to you guys how to earn easily 20 to 25 Hall of Fame badges, super easy, that you guys can then go ahead and add to your Dark Matter players to make them even better and then sell them in the auction house and make tons of MT. This is easily, easily the best MT making method in NBA 2K22, my team. This method could literally make you millions of MT in one single player. If you guys save up 15, 20 Hall of Fame badges, put them on Dark Matter Giannis when he comes out, maybe in the next week or two. If you put him on Dark Matter Giannis when he first comes out on Friday, he's gonna sell for probably over a million MT at least. So, so yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. I really hope the video did help you guys out. Those are my best MT making methods in NBA 2K20 to my team. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.